friends just put in the final touches on the decorations. Very rustic and uh, including one of Fran's little Mises has <laughs> been chewed by a certain dog. It's turned into a shrew instead of a Christmas <laughs> mouse, but never mind, I'm getting better. So you've been foraging for all our Christmas decorations on the canal side? Yeah, I mean a few things like these have been collected over the years. I think we got that in Germany or Salzburg, I'm not sure. But everything else we just um, pick up as we go along and it's cost us nothing, absolutely nothing. Um, and of course this all goes on the fire after Christmas, so that's a bonus. Cooking is mostly done, I think, or in process. We're having more mince pies today. Yeah, every time you make them, they get eaten. Well, that's fine. That's what they're there for. Shortbreads today. The Christmas cake is made, waiting to be decorated. Um, yeah, I think we're there. We're ready. Yes. Yay. Yeah, bring it on. <laughs> well, we're up into Market Drayton Town for the last time. Uh, it's Saturday morning. We're going to do a bit of shopping. Newspaper. Get, get the newspaper and uh, we've been moored up behind Andrew from YouTube channel Tales from the Swan's Neck and this is his boat here. Unfortunately he's not on board at the moment we just watched him head off into town himself. And it's a shame because of uh, lockdown and um, the regulations We've not really been able to see him. We couldn't have him on the boat even for a cup of tea. No. We've obviously spoken to him on the towpath and that's as good as it gets. So, so anyway, go and have a look at his channel, Tales from the Swan's Neck. Lovely bloke. Shop again, so fantastic. Well, they do a nice range of vegetables as well. Muddy carrots, look at that, who knew? Really lovely town, Fran. It's a, I know we say this a lot, but I could live in a town like that. It's really, really nice. Got everything you would need. You wouldn't need to have a car, would you? No. Just lovely, lovely, lovely. And uh, lots of lovely independent shops. So let's hope they've not been adversely affected too much by uh, recent events this year. It'd be a shame, wouldn't it, to see lots of those little shops go? It would be a shame, yeah. So that's our little walk around Market Drake, and mm -hmm. I hope you enjoyed it.
So we've uh, just done a couple of miles today. We're at the top of Adderley Flight of Lux, which is just five locks to go down. And uh, boats just come through, so the next lock is ready for us to just sail through. So it shouldn't take us an hour really to get through these locks. And that's it. As soon as we get through, we'll find somewhere to moor up again. Oh dear. Somebody's just crunched the side. Too busy looking at the sheep. I think I'm out of practice. It's been a while, hasn't it? <laughs> Has been a while since we've done any locks, but look what we got here. Marmite. <laughs> Bit of a chilly day today, about two degrees centigrade, 35 degrees Fahrenheit, something like that. And uh, Fran's cup of hot marmite was very welcome. But we're not going far, as I said, uh, it's just the other side of these locks and we'll try and find somewhere to moor. We were gonna moor at the top of the locks before coming down and stay there the night, but the shelf was sticking out about 18 inches and uh, we just couldn't get close enough to the bank and the tyres that we bought weren't, uh, diameter isn't wide enough for us to be protected against the shelf banging against the side of the boat all day, all night so we decided to come up down the locks and uh, see what we can find on the other side it's funny because it's been a couple of months since we came up and uh, I don't remember these locks at all it was just bizarre but I remember at the next town, which is Audlem, I remember those locks. Maybe it's because there's 13 of them. But anyway, I'm re enjoying being out and about again. It's uh, lovely, really lovely. Just uh, really lucky. Fran hates it when I jump across the gates like that but it would take twice as long having to walk around the lock every time you needed to close the gate on the opposite side but uh, fortunately the gates have got uh, good treads on them and uh, not fallen in yet Right, with a bit of luck might be able to find a spot just after that boat that's not bad going that's five locks in about 40 minutes so brilliant well as luck would have it and there's more in rings here as well well we're back on the move today we're just doing two miles but uh, 13 locks in those two miles, so that's going to take a couple of hours. And uh, we're heading into a village called Audlem, really pretty little place. And uh, we're going to be there for a couple of days before we head on then to Nantwich, a few miles further on, uh, where we've got to pick up parcels, etc., that are waiting for us. And uh, hopefully, Fran wants a haircut. But uh, Fran's on the bank walking the dogs. Cold, grey, miserable day. So uh, let's get some locks done and get warmed up. Fran reckons this little hut behind us would be ideal to live in if we went back to land. Let's see if we can have a look inside. Well, I guess you could uh, just about fit a cooker up there and have a mezzanine bed on the top. Nice and cosy. I don't know what those were actually used for. 
shelter for them. I don't know why, why there will be a fire in there. I don't know. Maybe it's the lock keepers in the old days. Somewhere for them to uh, keep warm. All the boats were coming up and down. I don't know. This is our 12th lock of the day and our last lock. Only on the last lock coming down did we meet a boat coming the other way, so all of the locks have been out of our favour. We've had to set all of them. But that's fine. We're now at Audlem and we're going to moor up for a couple of days, get water, um, have a look around the town and have a rest. That's the longest day cruising we've done for ages. Uh, well, sadly, the Shroppy Fly pub, they've decided to keep closed until further notice because they can't find it commercially viable to stay open. But uh, you find so many of these canal side pubs do close anyway, but it's such an iconic place, isn't yeah, it? It's it is such a really shame. really famous pub. It's, Hope they open. It's an old warehouse converted into a pub. It's a shame we can't go inside to show you because the bar is built like a narrowboat. But uh, never mind. This crane, the crane behind, uh, isn't an original from the canal. It's been brought from the train depot that what used to be here is no longer. But we're going in this uh, Audlin Mill canal shop and workshop. So let's see what they're all about. Cheshire's well known for its dairy produce and this was a, an old butter market built in 1733 but interestingly this stone here this lump of granite used to have a iron hook they used to attach bears to it and bait them I guess with dogs maybe I don't know but uh, it's a bear baiting stone All that's left for us to say then is thank you very much for watching yep. and thank you so much for your support over the year whether it's just by buying some of our merchandise or our artwork by watching the videos patreon supporters thank you so much to the patrons yep. thank you so a merry christmas to you all and let's hope 2021 is going to be a lot better than 2020 Cheers to that it's yeah been a funny old year eh yeah so however you spend your christmas have a wonderful time happy new year to everybody and we'll see you on the other side yeah <laughs> take care bye, bye.